Hello YouTube and welcome to Interesting Game. Gaming. Today we're continuing Witcher 3 and we're going to be starting with the main mission quest which is to find a Dreamer in the old house. So you can see I changed my armor a little bit. Kind of looks pretty uh, pretty interesting actually. It has a, has a bit of a long uh, dress look and it's actually it's flatter than the wind but then there's nothing in the back so you can actually see his butt. Anyway, so let's continue and this is Novigrad at night. Lots of undesirable elements everywhere. Um, and we're going to go ahead and continue the main quest. I've just collected uh, the necessary schematics for cat armor, actually. And let me see if I can craft it. It would be nice if I could craft it. Uh, where's the... Where's the guy? Is he in here? Because if I can craft my first armor, that would be absolutely epic. Uh, first armor set, that is. Hello. Hello? Hello. Oh wait, that I haven't finished this quest yet, have I? Yeah, okay, this is the dumpling guy, isn't it? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, never mind. I cannot use him for crafting yet because he is a this is guy this guy is a master crafter. And unfortunately he won't be able to craft anything until I um, finish his quest. And his quest is actually level 24, so I don't think I can I don't think I can tackle yet. So let's just continue without crafting anything yet. And then the first uh craftsmith or blacksmith that we find, we'll ask him to craft something for us. And he might actually do it for us. Okie doke, so... Where are we going? This way. As I mentioned before, this is such a huge city. It's probably the, the biggest city I, I've seen in any RPG game. Except for, for maybe... I can think of a city that's that was actually bigger than that in Morrowind. Um, which is the, one of the Elder Scrolls games. Even Oblivion or Skyrim didn't have anything this big, but Morrowind did. In Morrowind there was a city that was just humongous. I don't remember the name anymore, because it was so many years ago, but... If you've played Morrowind, you know what I'm talking about. It was like on the sea or something. And it had many, many, many levels. And it took days to explore it. Alright, so here we go. This is the Dreamer. I don't think I will get any experience for this quest, because it's actually below my level. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. Okay, interesting. Truth is, we're already dependent on... I don't think it's haunted. It just sounds like you have someone pooping in your house. And living upstairs. A... You're a banker. That means you have good loot, right? Do you have good loot for me, sir? So far, nothing interesting. Hey, raspberry juice. Okay, uh... Silver mug, ooh, that's good. Candy labrum. Perfume and grapes, okay, cool, that's good enough. Put it down, please. That's blood, don't spill it. Please. Okay. Okay. Who are you talking to? 
Stop. Go oh. away. Leave it. So there, it is haunted. Oh, it's that. What's that called? Oh, I forgot what they're called. Jo uh, Johnny was one of them. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. Okay. The doll. The attic. Oh, it's a very haunted house. All right. Time to check the attic. Time to check the loot. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Let's loot it first. Um, this is actually getting more interesting. Haunted house, eh? Exciting. If you watch one of the previous videos, I actually had to investigate a whole haunted tower. And that was a pretty awesome quest. Probably one of the scariest quests in this game, if not the scariest. Leave it. Okay, that looks like the this goes to the attic. Um, I need to read about the... I'm gonna read the beast theory about these things. What are they called? I forgot what they're called. What are they called? I have so many entries I haven't read. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay. Is it one of these guys? Yeah, godlings. There, there, there you go. Oh, there's no way. Okay, I was just I wanted to check if I have to fight it. What do I have to use? Doesn't say. Which means that I guess I don't have to fight it. Way to the next room is blocked. Not for long. I'm gonna unblock it in a second as soon as I check the loot. I gotta stop doing that. It's it's like a it's like an addiction now. Open sesame. All right, what's going on? I see a few quest items. One is here. Drawing. Silver. Okay, what is that? Doll. Hey, stop laughing. It's creeping me out. Okay. I think we're done here. Examine... Oh, examine the drawing. Okay, let's look at the drawing, which would be here. What is this? Okay. So, crib. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid it down Ooh, in it. you're smart. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't Where? spill it. Please. Where? Where's the crib? Stop. Go away. Was this second floor here? Leave it. E Excuse me. Okay. No, that's the first floor. The second floor would be here. And I have to find the find the crib. Find the crib, find the crib, find the crib, find the crib. Why do I not see it? This is really silly. Oh, the, oh wow, okay. It's also... Yeah, it's swimming by itself, that's normal. Find out why the door slammed shut. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh, joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Okay. I'm gonna take a wild guess that is it is in the basement. I still have not been in the basement. Oh, yeah. I think the hint is telling me it's in the basement. There's a hint system here. Yeah, there we go. That's the oven. Oh, please don't tell me someone burned in there. Because that's freaky. Also, this opens. Hello, Mr. Ghost, you inside? Yeah, that's creepy. 
Oh, thanks for that. Did I scare a little you? bit. Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. Hmm. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Okay, that was actually kind of cool. So there are two gunlings in this game so far. And both of them are really nice creatures. Now what was this? What is this? Is that a secret? <gasps> oh, treasure. Tracker's trousers. That's probably not very good. Ah, oh, these are all low level items. But I'll still sell them. I found me some treasure. Oh wait, there's more. Hey, look at that. I'm gonna hurt myself. So someone was digging the tunnel here, I guess. Hey, I, don't, I didn't want that rusty hammerhead. I don't want no hammerheads. Hey, I don't want that either. Okay, so that was just... Wait, why is this red? Is it supposed to be red? I guess it's because you can you can move them around. Right? There you go. That's why they're red. Uh, okay, thank you for that. And... So I'm gonna go talk to the, to the girl. I still don't know what dreamers are. I guess she's like... I'm, whoa. Uh, I guess she's like a medium? Or some something like that. Hello. What's going on? Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream, well, it was all too real and not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted, also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. 
Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Okay, so I guess that's it for this quest. Oh wait, I think the banker might give me a reward. Let's go lie to him. Lie in his face and make him pay us. Where's the exit? Missed the exit. Where's the exit? What? Hello? Where's the door? Oh, there it is. Ha, 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 ha. Sir, give me money. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Okay. So I guess that's that's sort of the good conclusion to this quest. Uh, let's go find Kareem. And I got distracted yet again because I just realized I can actually craft all of my cat armor. It's called feline armor. This is the uh, second tier witcher armor that you get to collect through this awesome awesome quest. And I kind of regret not recording it, but maybe in my next playthrough I will. Uh, it involved some crazy exploration and a really awesome story of another witcher who First turn, first was actually, seemed like a good guy, but then he turned out to be a jerk. Uh, you don't get to see him, you just kind of, it's, you read through the, his story in, um, by collecting these books right here. Actually, not these books, but uh, the books that you have right here. And if you read through them, there's actually a really cool backstory. But anyway, so look at that, I have feline boots, feline trousers, feline armor, and feline gauntlets. A full cat set, this is what it looks like, and this actually gives me uh, a t a more attack power. Not as much resistance, but because I dodge so much and I use Quen so much, I don't really need it. I don't need resistance, I need to have more attack power. And this gives me plus 20% attack, which is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna deconstruct these and take out my upgrades from them. Excellent, and look at the new look, it's absolutely awesome. Very, very shiny and pretty epic. Alright, so I, I will hopefully now make it to the quest marker. Hopefully. Let's hope that nothing else distracts me, but this is actually good. Finally got my first Witcher armor. The, actually, the first tier is called Griffin armor, but this was at like level 8 and I never really used it. Um, so instead... Um, instead I decided to go for the Cat. And it's it's actually it was worth it because Cat gives me more damage. So now I have 20% more damage. Ooh, look at that, I found a tavern. And they have fights here, they have... Uh, Yes, master. yes, master. Where is the girl? Oh, I guess she's upstairs. Yeah, she did say she was resting. Uh, ah, that all makes sense. Totally makes sense. So she's gotta be somewhere over here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Hello. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned. 
during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Of course. This is actually a fun, fun backstory. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Let's do the last one. I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For God's know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. That's actually really interesting. I didn't realize he knew her even before Witcher 1. Because Witcher 1 starts with you waking up after this, you know, being stabbed at the pitchfork and you don't remember anything. And you have to basically rediscover yourself. So that means that she's been with him for a really long time. And the memories we saw in the beginning where she's like really young, that's way before Witcher 1. She's actually something I didn't realize. Okay. She's a child of the blood, they call her Lady of Space and Time. Okay. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers, I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something So else. that means that she's basically sort of like, I don't want to say antichrist, but she would basically cause the end of the world. That, which is why he's trying to protect her. Or, or get to her. That is really interesting. This is, this is actually one of the better ways of explaining the whole story. In a, in essentially in one one go. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to? I don't say think there's anything else. No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. 
Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. I guess we can't hear him talk because it's a dream. And it's supposed to be something. Swallow is the girl. She's talking to him. He's saying something. He looks very different from Witcher 2 as well. He doesn't he listen to her. Oh wait, never mind. Explosion. Wait, that was that the thing place I visited before, wasn't it? The, uh, the underground area. I think it is. Can you explain the dream to me? <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. All right. Let's go and find Dandelion. Yeah, he's actually one of the cool characters from Witcher 2. He's essentially a playboy. Even more so than you. Um, he's actually kind of funny too. Or he was funny. I really hope that he's not. Oh, what? What? Usually when they scream it means there's enemies enemies nearby. Um But yeah. I hope that I'm not as disappointed by him as I was by Triss. She was a little bit disappointed. I don't know why. I think it's the voice or something. Something about her. Enemies, I see enemies. I don't care about enemies right now. I'm just gonna run through them. And I think we're about 100 meters away. I'm just gonna show you the city, how beautiful it is. This is city at night. Well, it's raining too. And I think we're almost there. 90 meters. So he inherited a brothel. That must be his happiest uh, time on Earth, on this planet. Witch hunters. Okay, so that's the place. I'm gonna just in case save my game because you never know. Things can get ugly. I think they just did. This looks very empty. Okay. There's two vagrants here. Three of them. Hello? Hello? Oh, maybe he's upstairs. That would make sense. I'm making the same mistake again. He is probably upstairs. No, it's the pointer is actually telling me that he's downstairs. Uh, all right. No one's home. This place is completely abandoned. Um. Hmm. Uh, all right. All right then. Maybe I came from <laughs> through their own entrance. 
Oh, wait a second. There's a guy here. Oh, I remember you. I don't remember. Who are you? I know that name. Get out, yeah. Wait, what? What? Is that it? Oh, there we go. I just had to touch the door. Wrong side. <laughs> Came from the wrong side. That's so funny. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. That was hilarious. I had to trigger the cutscene. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right. Time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Uh, okay. It's a fist fight battle. There's a quest item right there. Ooh, 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 I see how this is. Yeah, it's like we never left Virgin. All right, there we go. That it? Ah, oh, please, that went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of me. Ages, pal. Hey, Sultan, you look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone. The tavern chocked full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Okay. Uh. Oh no, I'm low on health. That's not good. I have to heal up. So there's. Aha! A note from a great friend. That was easy. <laughs> Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It's his planner! Huh. <laughs> Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping, among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. I'm sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... 
Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies at my half you interrogate the ones on yours. So che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you yeah. are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Okay, so I guess we have to find him using his verse clues. It doesn't sound like it's going to be easy. Read the planner. Where is the planner? Is it this? Yeah. Uh, rose var at three? Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue. Okay, oh my god, this is kind of horrible. Five different names. Uh, yeah. I wonder if I have to figure this out on my own or the game is gonna help me. Yeah, I think the game is gonna help. Alright, so let's actually restore our potions. And... Go and see the first person. Looks like the game is going to track them for me, which is great. Um, so I don't have to actually decipher this myself. Even though, you know what, for difficult mode, you'd expect this to be... Huh? Laundry. Uh, for difficult mode, you'd expect this to be manual. This is kind of creepy. But it's... Uh-oh, something's happening. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This spule has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. Oh, thank you. To think there are men will help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Close enough. Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh, dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out pouring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. Ha! <laughs> Horvir, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean... Tell him he's a two-faced snake, but 
it would be nice if you dropped by. Yeah, this is going to be a fun quest. All right, so let's go to the next one. Talk to Elihol. El El Elihol. I don't know. Sounds very el elfish. Uh, and she is somewhere right here. Oh yeah, that's the other clean, clean woman that we just mentioned. I'm sorry, I just scrolled her. I think. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh. Welcome, welcome. Okay, well, that's just awkward. I didn't know he he bends this way, but nothing wrong with that. All right, excuse me, sir. I'm a friend of Dandelions, looking for any uh, help. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, dye your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Okay. Any better? Okay. <laughs> so you're. Elihal. Uh, did you and Dandelion? I mean, how did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. That is, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that either, but that is totally unexpected. I am just giggling inside right now. Okay, so <laughs> that face, especially. And then. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago, he brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> oh, this game is awesome. All right. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? It must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. All right, let's get out. Thanks for your help. And uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna stay like this. That is awesome. All right, this game is super complex, and I love every moment. Okay, so definitely not expected. Uh, moving on. Who is next? Molly. One glance tells me all I need to know about you. Um. But yeah, I like how they're touching on all of these different subjects that are um, n almost never mentioned in other games. This means that the gaming industry fi has finally matured. And this is a prime example of how far we've gone 
since the early days of early RPGs where, you know, so many white white males and a lot of boobs everywhere. Even though this game does have a lot of that as well, but still. Uh, I'm actually surprised that you can give money to beggars, because they're always begging, but I can't give anything to them. Which is... I mean, it's, it'd be nice to give them something. And these guys? I have a feeling that we're gonna have a showdown soon. Because it sounds like th there's a, some sort of kingpin that harasses people. <laughs> yeah, that, I meant that. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> that is awesome. I am loving it. Okay, though. Ooh, what's that? Shadow? From what? Little boy, move away. Okay, where's Molly? She, I guess she's a rich girl, because she's never... This is, this is the higher district, with a lot of rich people in here. 